staggering, Jake, as you just told us. And we asked John Carl to weigh in and give us a sense of the president's cuts and exactly what kind of dent it would make in the debt. There's plenty of talk of tough choices and spending cuts, but what do they really add up to? To help make sense of all the talk of billions and trillions, we borrowed an idea from a computer programmer named Matthias Shapiro. This is the federal budget, about $100 in pennies. So we bought $100 worth of pennies and started to stack them. Until we got this, the $3.7 trillion budget. Each one of these stacks of five pennies represents $2 billion. These pennies over here represent security and defense spending. This section right here, interest payments that have to be paid on all that debt we've been racking up. And this entire section of the table are so-called entitlements, things like Social Security and Medicare. So is the president talking about cutting anything from any of that? The answer really is no. All the cuts are focused on this one section which is everything else the government spends money on. Everything from space exploration to building roads. It will mean cutting things uh, that I care deeply about. Uh, for example, community action program. How much would cutting community action programs save? Well, about one third of one penny. There are some bigger cuts, even to defense. About $19 billion in programs cut, about this number, but then there are new defense programs, so the overall defense budget actually gets bigger, about a stack and a half worth. Now, the Republicans go further. Their budget cuts for this year amounted to $100 billion, or that's about this many pennies. But the bottom line, Diane, is unless you're willing to talk about cutting entitlements or defense or both, really, there's no way you can even think about balancing the budget. All right, John Carl, thanks to you.